there. <laughs> I'm laughing. This is this is anyway. Hi, Stacy Burke here. Just doing a, a little update. Uh, it is September seventeenth. It's a Tuesday. Tuesdays are always busy for me. Busy, busy, busy. I don't know how long this update is going to go. I'm just going to do it like real shout out because um, I'm waiting for laundry and, and the dryer. As you know, I, I started my own little delivery laundry service and it's starting to pick up. Like I just got a new client today um, as I was walking to, because sometimes I walk and sometimes I drive, depends how far it goes. And um, it's good for exercise and stuff. So I have a little cart you know, a little laundry cart, and I walk around the place, and I do laundry, and I deliver, and, and stuff like that, and I was walking, and one guy pulled up, and he goes, oh my god, the fluffy fold girl, I go, yeah, that's me, and he goes, oh, I went to the, the old place where you used to work, and the new person, the new person, as you know, I got laid off, because um, the guy, the owner, couldn't afford um, to pay for employees anymore, he just couldn't afford labor, so what he did was he um, has independent contractor that she goes in there and she um, and she, um, she she I guess just sets up shop and does laundry and I guess he was saying that she's very expensive and stuff um, which makes sense because she has to pay for everything in that place I mean when I got um, when I was working there and the owner offered it to me. It seemed fishy because I had to pay for this, I had to pay for that, I had to pay for this, I had to pay for the lot, the, the, the machines. On um, All I was able to do is basically stay there and so do fluff and fold and stuff. And I was thinking, well, I could do that at home. I don't need to pay for anything. I could just stay home. I have a, I have, um, a little launder, like a little tiny launder um, washer and dryer here. And if I need to, I could go where I used to work for the big machines. So I just didn't understand. So um, I've been doing it on my own since this s in summer. And um, it was kind of slow and I was kind of like, well, I don't know if this will take off, but it started to take off. Um, Cause that guy, how I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. There's so much going on. Everything was fine until I hit record. And then all of a sudden this guy has to do something. Dog's barking at that person over there. It's just, so I'm very kind of distracted. I'm sorry. It happens. Um, I think they're done now. Um, but as I was walking, the guy pulled up and he goes, "Oh my God, the fluff mobile girl!" Oh, and I go, I give him my card. I go, I, I can still do it for you. He goes, "Oh good, I'll I'll contact you because the other lady is very expensive, which makes sense. Of course, she'd be more expensive because she has to stay there and she has to pay for everything. Where I just do it on my own. So. Got a new client today. Tuesdays, for some reason, are really busy. A lot of um, hair salons and barber shops and dentist play people, they always do it. So I'm just now waiting for it to dry, and then I'm going to fold it. And I might walk it to my new client or drive it. I'm not sure. I think I'll probably walk it. So I'm busy with that. Um, I also did my, my roommate's laundry. As you know, I had a roommate, but I had to get rid of him because he... He just took too many liberties and stuff like that. But his son, who's 19, ended up staying here. He, he paid me up until November. And um, it's so much better energy. Like, uh, it's just um, better. Um, he goes to school. So it's not like just someone just up in the room all the time, you know, not doing anything and making a mess. He actually goes to school. He actually has a good life. And... Um, and when he comes out, he says, hello, <laughs> not used to that. He says, hello, he acknowledges me. He, he says, thank you. He says, goodbye. And then he had some laundry for me to do. So he gave me some laundry. And then um, uh, he put a little note saying, thank you for offering to do my laundry. He even like tipped me a little bit of money. I'm sure he doesn't understand that um, how much I pay for it. Like he gave me $10, which a thought that counts. I like it, you know. But he probably doesn't understand that now that I'm on my own, I, I paid the machines. So it cost me like, I think it was like, it was a $10 machine I had to put in because he had a lot of laundry. And I spent one, two, three, four. So it was a thir uh, 10, 12, 13, 14. It was about $15, $16 to do his laundry because it was like, it was a lot. It was a lot. And I had to dry it and stuff like that. It was like comforters and stuff. But even though it cost me... One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Yeah, sixteen dollars. He gave me ten. I don't care putting that extra uh, six dollars. Plus, I folded it all nice for him and stuff like that. And it took time. But um, just the fact that he said thank you, and the fact that he off he gave me a ten dollar, you know, um, is makes all the difference in the world. Like I don't mind. It. I had to do my laundry anyway, so I did my laundry. I did his laundry, and I did my client's laundry. So today, Tuesday, was just a bunch of laundry. And it feels good. And it's like, as I thought it was done, and then I got like a little text saying, Hey, um, I'm new. How does this work? Can you come pick up? I'm like, Yeah, I'll be right there. Picked up her laundry. Now I'm drying it. As soon as I fold it, I'm going to drop it off to her. Um, so, yeah, so it's like, um, it's all good. Like, everything's like working out really well. Uh, yesterday I did the grocery haul. I did that, and then tomorrow I'm hoping to go to the L.A. County Fair because it's the last week of the fair. The fair ends on the 22nd, so I want to make sure to go. And Wednesday's a good day to go, I think, because um, there's not – sorry, there's something in my eye. If I do this, I woke up with something in your eye, right, and then you try to get it out, but it, it whatever it is is rolled in the back of the eyeball. Like, it's like um, – like, it's, it's in my eye, like, not in the front. Like, I could feel it. It rolled back here. And so I don't know when it will come out. But it's bothering me. Like, I even got water, and I try to get it, like, um, I try to wash it out. Um, I don't know. It's just bothering me. Anyway, I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, going to the fair. I want to go when it's, like, uh, kind of dead. So me and my friend Larry are going to go. Um. We're going to go early in the morning and probably stay all day. So I cannot wait. That's going to be a lot of walking around and a lot of good junk food and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and if you follow me on Instagram, Sunny and Cher, my two parakeets, they've been doing it. They've been doing the dirty, dirty, um, and she's been laying eggs. Parakeets are so much different than cockatiels. They're just different. They're more to themselves. They don't really, like, pay attention to me. Not like Miss Josephine. Me and her would talk. And it was like a, a, it was like kind of a relationship. They're just in their own world. They're, they're talking and, you know, because they're a couple. I got to clean their cage again. It's getting so dirty. But she's laying eggs. If you follow my Instagram, she's laying eggs. No, they're not fertilized. They, they, they fall and they break. And then I seen Sonny, like, peck at them. Like, he, I guess he eats them. I don't know. It's a learning experience having parakeets, and I don't think you could fix them. I don't think you could have a spay and neuter parakeets. I don't think that exists. Um, so who knows if any of the eggs will get fertilized, and she might be a mama, or maybe they'll just be duds, like she's firing blanks or just blank eggs. So I don't know. So that's going. what's going on with parakeets. What else is going on? Uh, if you just follow my Instagram, sorry I don't really post any more about, like, on well, maybe I could. There, a lot of it's on my phone, and it takes a lot to get the footage off the phone and then edit and stuff. And I've been really busy um, doing my laundry stuff. Uh, but, you know, I went to AGT. I think I did a video with that. And then this whole, just things, friends and family having stuff, doing my laundry deliveries, um, trying to get the fair, trying to do the last parts of, of, of summer activities, uh, I went to go see a concert, Squeeze. If you know the band Squeeze, uh, X opened up for them. And follow my Instagram. I went to the Orpheum Theater, and X, you know, the band X, like from the 80s, opened up for a Squeeze. And Squeeze was, they were a really good band. Uh, I think the next thing is my, I have a Sammy Hagar concert coming up. And then I got, oh yeah, I got a few concerts. I have a few stuff coming. So I've been busy with that. Like, it's just weird. I don't know how when I used to have a full-time job, like Monday through Friday, like a full-time job, how I fit everything I do. How did I fit? Like, I'm busy all the time. Like, how? I think it's because when I would go work there, I was stuck there. And if it was not busy, I, I, I would do things on the computer. I do I do all, all this, you know. And then when I was done, I could go and do my other stuff. Now I just don't know when. It's like um, I don't know um, what the schedule is. Like I could be trying to relax at home, and then all of a sudden I get a call like, "Oh, can you do my laundry?" And I gotta rush and do the laundry. And I, it's hard for me to text someone back, 
or update or, or edit, even though I do update on OnlyFans a lot. And I still do this. And yeah, sorry about the chat. Me and Tanya Danielle talked over four hours. When we did the live chat, me and Tanya Danielle, it was on the 13th, right? Uh, it was Friday the 13th. And my Wi-Fi goes in and out. I need a new router or router or whatever. And we were talking, and we got to do a really good conversation, which got totally got cut out. It was a really good conversation. But oh well. I um, We talked, and then when I noticed that the Wi-Fi was gone, I had to plug in my computer directly to the Internet, because thank God I do have that. And then we talked for another three and a half hours, or even more, almost four hours. So we talked like four and a half hours. And then we had a surprise guest at the very end. And then I had to hurry up and get ready and go to the Squeeze concert. And it was crazy. But this is my life. And I love it. I was like, it's it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's it's just like, it's just, and then it falls coming in. So I decorate it for fall. Um, maybe I'll show that on Instagram. Although I'm not really done yet. Like I've just add a few things. I need to put on out the Chris, um, Christmas. Huh? I need to put out the Halloween stuff. But right now it's kind of fall-like. So I like that. Um, I put up some new stuff. Maybe I'll, I'll put that on Instagram. Uh, follow that. Um, what that. Oh, I bought Sage. Uh, if you know, I, I, I um, Sage, you could burn it. And it takes away, like, bad energy. And it's all spiritual. And even if you don't believe in spiritual stuff, there's actually real scientific stuff that if you burn it, it's good for... Um, it's good for inflammation of the joints. It's good to, because um, it releases negative ions, I guess, negative ions. And it's good to combat mold and mildew and stuff like that. And it's, it's good for respiratory issues. And also, if you eat sage or drink sage tea, it's really good for you. There's just, if you read up on sage, there's a lot of good stuff. Um, so I'm going to take a picture of my little smud, smudging kit I bought. I bought a smudging kit, and I got, like, this bracelet with all, like, um, the chakras on it and stuff. I know. I'm just getting into all lots of cool stuff. I'm just kind of loving life. It's like I love because after I got, you know, after I got divorced, I got rid of that negative energy. Then I had my friend who was a roommate. Who knew he was going to be negative energy, but he was. And so I got rid of that because my home needs to be filled with joy only. It should not have anything, any ulterior motives, no negative energy, no ill intentions, nothing bad should ever be welcome in my home again. Um, I was trying to help him out and trying to understand him, but he was just so disrespectful and so condescending and so rude and and you know not paying me rent is one thing you know that that's that was hurtful for other reasons and financial reasons and being a friend that's not cool but i'm talking about the whole other aspect of you know being my roommate he would not say hello he, he would not acknowledge me I, I would ask him hey can you do this he wouldn't do that like he wouldn't do anything for me he wouldn't do anything for me unless it it was uh, it was it it benefited him, um, and it's not like I want someone to do something for me, but it was just simple stuff that you live in the home, you know. If I'm home, like say if I'm away and like the building inspector wants to come in, I'm like, oh my god, they're on the way. Can you open the door? Like it's just stuff because you live in the same home, you probably want the betterment of that home, right? Like, it's just not about me, like, doing me a favor. It's doing your home a favor. So, anyway, I'm so, like, things are so much better. The energy is so much better in my home. Like, um, his son who lives here, 19, respectful, nice. I mean, sometimes he might ask things. They're like, what? Like, one time he asked, they go, hey, can I borrow your car? And I'm like, uh, no. No one borrows my car. Like, no. It's like. I need that for deliveries. I might I might get a call and I might need to do a delivery. And second of all, in my insurance, you know, that commercial don't mess with my discount. Like my insurance doesn't cover another driver. Like if anything happens, I'm screwed. Um, so no. And I'm I might need it. Like that leaves no. No. <laughs> you know, but he doesn't know. He's you know, he's 
he's a kid, he's learning things. So there might be some things that like, but at least his, when he does stuff like that, it's not ill will, it's not ill intention. And I could say no to him and he doesn't get all bent out of shape and angry and, and grunts at me and, and treats me bad. He just says, okay, thank you. I just thought I would ask. And I go, yeah, sorry. Um, he's understanding. So, so far so good on everything. My friend Larry's been helping me out a lot. Um, I did get invited to go to, uh, again today for, uh, Mira's Got Talent. As you know, I befriended a guy who's a producer. He's really nice, uh, lives in the Hollywood Hills and he invited me cause it is the finales. Uh, but I got too busy with, um, laundry. So I said no. And then he invited me for yesterday, for tomorrow, Wednesday, yesterday, tomorrow, Wednesday, cause that's the finale finale. And I guess Cher is supposed to be the 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 surprise guest sorry if that's a spoiler alert uh, but um but I said sorry I can't because I promised my friend I was going to go to the fair with because um Larry's been helping me out a lot so so instead of just giving him money I thought I want to go to the fair he wants to go to the fair I'm just going to pay his way to the fair I'm going to buy his ticket and and pay for parking so we're going to go to the fair and that's my way of paying him um for helping me with a uh, certain home improvements that I'm trying to do. Um, so that's what's going on. So I don't know if I'm going to get to talk to my producer friend after that. He's busy with AGT and he's all the way in Hollywood Hills. And it's just, of course, after AGT, um, America's Got Talent ends, like after this season, maybe, um, he offered to come out here, which would be nice. Cause I drove to LA twice and I'm kind of, ugh. It's just, it just, oh God, it just takes so long to get to LA, especially in, up in those Hollywood Hills. So if he comes to visit me here, that would be nice. That way he could see where I live and stuff and he gets to see how I have to drive. Um, so I don't know what's going on with that. I'm just doing me. I'm just concentrating on getting myself done. Like I don't want to cancel work to go play in Hollywood. Even though it would be fun, it sounds great. I'm probably missing a really good show. But I need to concentrate on my work, on my on my on my new business that I'm trying to do, even though I might not make that much money of it out of it. It's it's building and it's also trust. I like that one this one new client that I get today. She might like it and she might tell a friend and I might get another client. You know what I mean? Like you just treat your clients really well, no matter if you only have a, like five or 500, doesn't matter. Right? So anyway, this video is kind of getting longer than I thought. I just thought I would just give you a little update of what's going on with me. I'll probably tell you more uh, later. I probably should check on the dryer and see if the clothes are ready and fold them and take them to her. So just follow my Instagram for pictures and stuff like that. Um, Cause I kind of like these sit down videos anyway, if you really want pictures or to see the concert footage or anything like that, just go to my Instagram. I've been posting more concert footage and more photos there. And then I'm going to just use YouTube just more like this. Maybe one of these days I'll go through my phone of all the stuff I've done and try to do a video. I might, you know, now that this it's, it's still hot. People are on the beach. I probably could go for a swim, but now that when the weather does start getting colder, I'll be able to stay home more and do more internet stuff uh, instead of being out and about and on a boat and at the beach and this and that, you know, so hopefully I'll, I'll be able to um, talk to you guys more um, instead of just being on Instagram and Snapchat and all that stuff. All right. To all my six cadets and all my cats, I hope you have a groovy day. Until next time.